Our next widget is the one that I probably find the most useful. So this widget is our popover. And so what our popover allows you to do is to put a picture and then when you put the picture in, you can then have some text or text and pictures that pop up. Now, when you put your picture in, I tend to put in an icon of some sort. So if I pop in one of my icons and drop that in, now I can make my icon much, 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 much smaller. Or the other thing I can do is make my icon really big and place him over the top. But if I turn my opacity of my icon down, what that's going to do is make more or less that whole picture a pop-up. So once I press him, so I can put in, this is the little pig who made his house of straw. Now I can make this a little bit bigger. And if I want to, I can also pop in a straw house. I could pop in the straw house as well. Oh, no, maybe not. There we go. So what I can do is I can put pictures in there as well. So now what I have is what looks to be a simple piece of text. I can double tap on my pig and this tells me all about the little piggy. Or if I want to, instead of having the opacity all the way down, I can turn the opacity up. I can make him a tiny little icon somewhere so that then the students will know always to tap on an icon that has a play. When they tap on it, the information, the extra information will appear. It's a nice way of making sure that your page is still clean and interesting but isn't overwhelming with text and pictures.